off. This is test ride number one of my newly attached GoPro to my Shoei GT Air 2. Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've done a vlog. Kinda took a little break from vlogging partly because I got my new helmet and was having a bugger of a time mounting it and partly because it's kind of like an everyday thing here now it's at least one of the reasons why I haven't been motor vlogging lately and partly because I haven't really had that many topics to vlog about right now we are under the heat dome here in the northeast and probably most of the country which is quite gross. I think at the moment the temperature is only about 80 but as soon as I stepped outside I felt like I was wrapped in a wet dish rag. My main uh, concern with my vlogging setup on this helmet is how the audio is going to sound. I have the microphone tucked inside the helmet at really the only spot where it will go and I just hope that the noise level is acceptable. I am far from what I would call a real vlogger. Some of you guys do a really excellent job with your vlogs. You obviously take it very seriously. I'm the opposite of that. Um, no fancy intros or outros for me. No music. Single camera view only. My audio isn't even that great. So my video editing is almost non-existent. I used to try to have little fancy cuts and stuff, feeds, but who am I kidding? The editing software I use isn't even supported anymore. No, it's just an occasional topic that I think is interesting. I'm going for a ride, so I'll make a vlog. So anyway, today I wanted to test out how this setup looks and sounds on my old helmet. I had it mounted right under the chin, but because the lens of the GoPro is off to the side of the camera, not the center of it, my point of view was always off to the side just a little bit. I don't know if anybody noticed it, but I noticed it. But now I have the camera mounted just off center so that the lens is actually spot on. So the view should be right on center. So I'm, I'm glad about that. I've tried the chest mount before. I've tried, well, I, that's the only one I tried, the chest mount, but I've seen other people use the camera on the side of the helmet and that sort of thing. I just like for my own stuff, spot on center, being able to turn your head and see whatever the camera sees. That's kind of my, my requirements. And so I was able to find a mounting position where that worked. And it was a challenge because all of the GoPro options, you really don't have a lot of options. There's a few different size, pieces of plastic for connecting these things. <clears throat> there are some interesting pieces made aftermarket, not by GoPro themselves. And just a couple different surfaces for mounting with the 3M tape. So it took a lot of trial and error to use as few pieces as possible and get it mounted where I want it without it looking like something I stole off of Darth Vader's helmet. So that's what I ended up with. So I'm glad about that. It actually is tighter and closer to the helmet than the one on my old helmet, which I'm happy about. You know, just about to start this overview and I'm looking in the background, drywall, moldings, flooring. It's basically what I've been working on for the last three months, which is kind of ironic. Okay, so here she is. Um, from a distance, 
the GoPro, you know, if you have a GoPro on your helmet, that's kind of the look. So the mounting point is all the way over here on the side. There is a contour to this helmet, which you can just start to see, and it lifts up. So you can't go any lower here, otherwise you don't have a flat surface. I just went over this little bit of a crease, and I actually put a very small amount of extra 3M tape just on that corner. And I was able to get a good firm mounting point. I've never had a problem with the mount on my old helmet coming loose. And that thing has been on there for years. I've heard about other people having problems with GoPro coming loose and falling off. I don't even want to chance that. So I've always used a tether. So over on the other side, I have this little round dude. And if I loosen up and pull this forward, I just have this stuck on here. And you have this little string. And it's pretty easy to take on and off if you need to. At some point, I will trim this back down so that it isn't hanging over the side like it is. But it isn't really that noticeable, and I just put it on. So pretty much that is how I have it mounted. Once I connected or, or attached the mounting plate, I have a very short piece. And then you can see I have a slightly longer piece. And then back to another longer piece. So one short, two longs. And that allows me to get the lens. Not sure if you can really tell, but it is centered so when I'm making the video it pretty much is centered right over the handlebars. I'm using a hand loosey tidy piece here so that I can just flip the helmet right out or rather the uh, camera right out if I need to like that and then I have the other one so that I can go up and down. So originally, trying to get this thing somewhere solid, firmly mounted here, and not have a really long group of pieces to get it around to the front, it was kind of challenging. But I eventually did come up with this. And I think this is the best for this helmet that I'm going to be able to do. As far as the audio, I have the microphone cable here. It is looped together underneath with zip tie. It goes underneath inside the helmet. And then it's all tucked by the cheek pad. So that's how you do it on the GT Air 2. It is so disgusting out here. I'm going to be doing a U-turn at the next opportunity and heading back. I can feel I'm already about three pounds lighter from sweat. Uh, moisture losses. Not exactly the kind of enjoyable ride I was hoping to have. Next time, it'll be a lot more comfortable. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Just put my new front tire on. Yeah, baby. Good for another 10,000. It's going to go out for a test ride. Oopsie. Slammo.